all I have said, talking about restructuring, will come to pass whether the government likes it or not. Are your daily shock Nigerians how this restructuring of a thing, you know, will come to play out in Nigeria last last. You know, I don't say majority of Nigerian headers, when we say they don't see uh, uh, left, they don't see right, they don't understand, say, the condition of Nigeria is no good. And if we continue like this, Nigeria will not prosper. They don't they call uh, Nigerian government, not be today they start them. Um, say the only way to go about the issue of this country is restructuring go back to federal uh, federalism you understand let all the states manage their resources with this you know every state will develop their state and nigeria will prosper you know understand the situation whereby they will come be competition that kind of thing they sweet oh this state don't do this thing they don't do like that you know they will be competition but this one, when we say everything is coming from the federal, you know, say the federal government get too much power, you understand? And the, the country is too big for one person, you know, to rule. Not only you, they give direction, you get. There are some critical issues like this. When we say it requires the person there, but you know, they be like that. They go say they go wait for the presidency. Till today, the Nigerian, Nigerian, um, uh, governors, they don't talk about um, community policing, you know, to help them crop the insecurity in their states. But the federal government of Nigeria have to give approval, you understand, because they are in control of um, all the uh, security apparatus in Nigeria. But that is not happening because the federal government of Nigeria is not even ready to play, to play, uh, to, to play talking about this community policing and all that. So you see, there are so many so many of them that the, you know, at least the person in charge in the state supposed to take action, but you cannot take action. Maybe those actions, self when you want to take, they go say, you don't commit, you don't commit crime. It's federal government directions. It's federal government duty, this and this and that. Nigeria, they collapse, they go like that. But Ayo Dele, you don't review this shocking revelation he said all i have said we come to pass whether the government like it or not he's talking about restructuring according to a report by daily post nigeria uh, uh primates ayo daily the leader of the Ari evangelical spiritual church has advised president bola Tinubu to consider restructuring nigeria in order to reap the numerous benefits associated with it Primate Ayodele emphasized that economic growth and enhanced security among the advantages that Tenable's government can expect if they heed his advice. In a statement released by his media aide, uh, Primate Ayodele further explained that the restructuring would decentralize power, granting each state more autonomy and ultimately leading to the country's overall reliances and progress. According to him, restructuring will help Nigeria grow. It will give every state power and help the country survive. President Tinubu should work on his advice because work on this advice because it is important for this country. Ayodele emphasized that there is a fundamental issue in the country that can only be resolved through a process of restructuring. He further elaborated that if the government fails to heed advice, all the predictions he has made will gradually materialize. There is an error in the country, and it has to be corrected through restructuring. All I have said will be happening one after the other, whether the government likes it or not. If there is no restructuring, if the government listens to this crucial advice, it will help the government. Additionally, he disclosed that his initi this initiative will assist the government in eliminating financial difficulties and mitigating insecurity. Restructuring is crucial for the government as it holds the potential to address the issue of insecurity. Activity, 
adequately by implementing necessary changes, the government can uh, alleviate economic hardships, making significant progress. It is important for the government to prioritize and actively engage in the process of restructuring. So guys, you've all heard him now. What's your take on what uh, the, the prophets Primates, Ayo Dele have just said about Nigerian condition and restructuring. I beg on Asia, do you think he's saying the right thing? Do you think restructuring Nigeria will be the best thing that ever happened to Nigeria? Maybe if this country is restructured, Nigeria will now benefit the true democracy. That I mean, the dividends of democracy. Do you think this will happen? And another one is, do you ever think that the government, those people who are now in the government, the leaders, would they ever agree to restructure? Because when you look at it critically, he's going to, you know, minimize the federal government's power. When by the governor, we have to control a, he or her state. You understand? And so many other things, when we say they come through federal government, it will stop. So, what do you think? What's your take on this? Please kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.